Manjiri, thank you so much for joining us at the Chennai Storytelling Festival 2022. Please uh, introduce yourself fully, tell us about your work, and please tell us a story. Hello, everyone. My name is Manjiri Gopte, and I'm telling from Mumbai. This is a Korean folktale, and the name is The Tiger's Whiskers. Here goes. This is the story of a desperate woman who had had a beautiful and loving marriage. But after her husband went to war and came back, he was a changed man. He did not love her anymore. He did not show any affection, nor did he sing songs of praise. He even refused to play his flute. So she was worried and she decided to go to the hermit's the wise man's cave who lived on the outskirts of the village. She went there and she said, oh, holy man, please help me. My husband does not love me anymore. He went to war and after he's back, he's a changed man. Please make me a portion so I can win back his love again. A portion, that is difficult. Hmm. I will need a special ingredient, a tiger's whisker from a live white wild tiger. She was aghast and she returned home thinking to herself, how can I get the whisker from a wild white tiger? She knew there was one in the Tibet mountains, but she knew it was an impossible task. And so she returned home forlorn. The next day, again, she cooked for her husband and she danced for him. She twirled the fan and she even asked him to play the flute. But no, he was not at all responsive to her. He just sat with a stone face, looking out of the window. I can't do this. I will have to win back his love. I will go to the mountains. And so after he slept, she made her famous delicious bibimbap, a delicious stew made of rice and vegetables with some pieces of meat, smothered in sesame oil. She put it on the fire. The smell wafted through the whole hut and she left. It was a cold night. There was snow everywhere and the steam escaped into the night. She walked through the village, through the forest and climbed up the mountain. She stretched out her bowl of stew, but she could not hear or see anything. So she began to sing. Tiger, tiger, eat from my stew so I can get a whisker from you. Still there was no sound. So again she began to sing. Tiger, tiger, eat from my stew so I can get a whisker from you. Oh, she dropped the stew and it flew into the air and she ran back through the forest, through the village, back to the hut. She slammed the door. She was trembling with fear. The next day, again, she cooked for her husband. She twirled her fan and she danced the whole day and she even gave him the flute to play. But no, again, there was no response. I'll go one more time to the mountain. I can't do this. I can't live without the love of my husband. Again, she prepared her delicious stew, bibimbap. She took the rice and the vegetables and added some sesame oil to the meat and this time she added some chili paste to make it even more tasty. 
and she left. She reached the mountain and thought she saw a shadow and the glistening of a whisker in the moonlight. So she began to sing. Tiger, tiger, eat from the stew, so I can take a whisker from you. She looked. Tiger, tiger, eat from the stew, so I can take a whisker from you. She dropped the stew and the fear rose up in her belly and she almost fell down, stumbled down the mountains and went home. No, I can't do it. She again sat down because her feet were trembling. The next day again she cooked, but her husband took a turn for the worse. So she thought I will try one more time. This time when she cooked her stew, she took the vegetables and the rice and stirred in sesame oil, the chili paste to the meat, put it on the fire and cracked open an egg. Then she left for the mountain and a paw emerged from the cave. And there he was, the majestic white wild tiger. He stared at her, her feet were trembling, she was shaking. He came forward, he circled her three times and he stood in front of her with blue piercing eyes. He stared at her and she stared back and outstretched her bowl of delicious stew. He came forward and with, her, with his pink tongue, he started eating the pieces of meat and he ate till the last morsel. Her feet stopped trembling. She was no longer scared. Tiger, tiger, my hope is in you. Please let me take a whisker from you. I am a lonely, miserable wife. Please help me get my husband to life. The tiger stared at her. With her finger and thumb, she caught his whisker and she pulled. His lips twitched, she pulled again and she saw his teeth and jaws and with a shriek up, she yanked the whisker and there it was between her thumb and finger, a wispy, wiry, white whisker. She turned back to thank the tiger, but he was already going back to his cave. And holding it, she ran jubilantly down the mountain and to the wise man's cave. I've got it, I've got it. She told him, please make me a portion now. The hermit stared at her. He took the whisker from her finger. He smelt it and he ran his tongue over it. And then he threw it in the air. It circled three times and fell into the raging fire. What have you done? Do you know what it took? Patience. It took patience. Your husband went to war and he saw terrible things there. It will take a lot of patience to get him back to life. You are the portion. You have all the ingredients in you. And you are the one who can get him back to life. The woman stared into the fire. And suddenly a smile came to her and she went back thinking, oh, she felt as if a burden had been lifted off her head. And she went back for many months. She cooked and she twirled her fan and she danced for him. And one night she heard a sound from the room and she ran and it was her husband. He smiled at her and he played his flute.
Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anybody, any thoughts, comments, questions? It was so lovely. I lo the, the way you enhanced it with music and also with the cooking, you know, you added, added ingredients to it, which made it very special. I've not heard this version. So did you, uh, did you add to the story or, uh, you know, because the original doesn't have these, uh, you know, special yes. touches. So was it your imagination? Uh, thank you, Rupa, first of all, for all the time comments. In fact, I think uh, I have done the workshop with you at the San Francisco Art Museum. That is when I heard the story for the first time. And it has stayed with me. It was, uh, I mean, uh, I liked it so much. And uh, of course, I did add a few things. Yes, <laughs> yes thank you. Yeah, I think it was yeah. very lovely. It was very lovely, lovely told, and the lovely version, your version. Uh, I think I have read and heard and told different versions of this story, mm -hmm. uh, and um, it was I really loved the um, the essence what you gave into the stories mm -hmm. with the foods and with the. Uh, so um, I was really happy to hear it. I have actually used it in, in different ways, or for example, for strengthening uh, women. But also once I, someone suggested to me, I had to, to help a Somalian boy, mm -hmm. a young teenager boy that was supposed to be, to go back to, to Somalia. They had to throw him out from, Sweden he couldn't stay here and he was he he has learned so much here so I told this story in a way that it was a boy he who had this struggle to fight he was in the family and he had uh, he, he, uh, no, somehow he had to to face this um, this, uh, I don't remember if it was a husband or father or government, in, but to strengthen him to face the difficulties if he had to go back to Somalia. And then ev ev eventually he actually had to do that. And now he's, he's married and has children and lives in Somalia again. So. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Marina. And that was lo Good lovely story. what you shared. Yes. Yeah. And the strength of females, women that has to, 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 to find ways and to help either it's your husband or it's a child that has difficulties or whatever, and to be strong and to understand that you are really strong, that you have the powers. True. So thank you. And I must say thank you, Eric, for uh, giving us this platform for this wonderful uh, uh, festival. And we've learned so much. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. I really like the rhythm of your story. And for me, it was very uh, binding. So, so thanks for bringing in that rhythm. Thank you. Thank you, Apurva. OK, let's end the segment. Thank you again, Manjiri. Thank you.